Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I wanted to share uh, a portion of this article by Jan Markell entitled Deafening Silence. Uh, this really stuck out to me as interesting that certain churches are going out of their way to attack those of us who look uh, to our blessed hope and uh, study the end times. And so um, I'm just going to read a, a portion of this article, a good portion of this article, and then I will include the link for you guys to read the rest. Uh, she goes on to say, A ministry supporter in Washington State a few years ago sent me a flyer that was handed out in his church. It was more mocking. The flyer asks if folks have met N times Eddie in the church. It denigrates Eddie and suggests he's so focused on end times that he has missed all the present opportunities and people in front of him. Eddie is doom and gloom. Why isn't he looking for Jesus to bring heaven to earth right now, they ask. Then, the flyer suggests some questions for the church small groups. Here are a few samples. What are your emotions when you encounter end times Eddie? Is the last day's message one of hope or fear? Jesus told us to pray your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does heaven on earth look like today? Who in your life needs heaven to come to earth right now? Two things stand out to me. Number one, here's just one more church preaching, come Lord Jesus, but not too soon. Number two, they have embraced the false teaching promoted by the new apostolic reformation that we can have heaven on earth now. This is called kingdom now or dominion theology. Show me just one square mile of this planet that can demonstrate a garden of Eden like heaven on earth. You will find only chaos. And the church trying to perfect the world for the next one million years won't fix it. Those of us who have promoted the important message that the King is coming are painfully aware that young believers no longer uphold Bible prophecy as a key component of the faith. They would rather focus on social justice, the green agenda, and Christian Palestinianism. When I was a teenager in my church, we had regular prophecy conferences and I never once heard that Israel was occupying her God-given country. I never would have heard the deintegrating title of End Times Eddie. I was never taught that we had to save the planet because I learned that it was hopelessly lost until Christ's return. I was never given the delusional teaching that in time my church would be able to save the planet by seizing the Genesis mandate of dominion, which is about dominion over animals and not mankind. Kingdom Now, or Dominion Theology, tries to humanize God and deify man. Sadly, the world will continue to deteriorate and spiral into chaos, forcing man to consider the hope of heaven and abandon thoughts of a glorified earth. Only when Jesus Christ returns at the second coming will all things be made new. The church is not in the business of taking anything away from Satan but the souls of men. The world is a sinking Titanic, ripe for judgment, not Garden of Eden-like perfection. Jesus will take dominion of the cleansed earth. For men to speak of doing that before the judgment of this earth is spiritually arrogant. Yet, end times eddy is one with the unsound theology according to the Washington Church, not those preaching the unsound theology that the church can perfect the world. One of my conference attendees wrote me recently. He had been tagged in end times eddy. He writes, quote, I no longer feel safe talking about the issues you deal with in your ministry. I am scorned and ridiculed by friends, family, and co-workers as if I talk about the Lord's imminent return or any prominent headline. To suggest that life as we know it may end soon is simply the ultimate in lunacy to all of these folks. 
I feel so alone. And you can go on and read the rest of that article as I will include the link in the description page. Uh, Once again, just a sign of the times that mockers and scoffers would come, brothers and sisters. Maranatha.